What's up guys, Super Geek here. Today we're going to talk about a new upcoming operating system from Google coming next year. This will not be any regular version. It is going to be a special version of Android that is going to change how you use Android on devices with bigger screen like tablets and devices with foldable displays like Samsung Galaxy Fold or Huawei Mate X. Android 12L is a specially customized version of Android 12 which comes with a unique interface to feed you a better and intuitive user experience, making Android a better operating system across all devices, no matter the size and shape of the device. Okay, first let's talk about why Google made Android 12L, and then I'll tell you how you can install it and try it on your Windows PC. Google is everywhere, basically Android is everywhere, smartphone, TV, wearables, IoT devices, and much more. Now, one thing where Google is lacking is tablets. Google tried a lot in the past to step into tablet market, but it all failed. Google has Chrome OS though, but it is not quite similar to Android which we use on our smartphones. With Pixel 6, Google has changed a lot of things. Google went all the way and created their own quote-unquote in-house chip called Tensor. And why they did that? Well, Apple. Apple's been making their own smartphone chips since very long and now they went even further, debuted their desktop level computing chips which is going to revolutionize computer industry in coming years. It's not like Apple's gonna sell their chips like Intel or AMD, but Apple chips are going to be a benchmark just like Apple's A-series SoCs and iPhones. Now Google want to do the same thing. If you haven't noticed in Google Pixel 6 launch event, Google's presentation was very much inspired by Apple keynotes. And since Apple created their own iPad OS for tablets, Google may also be thinking the same thing. And who knows, maybe Android 12L is the first step toward that. We may see some Pixel tablets just like in the past. To summarize, Google has a long history of abandoning projects, but maybe this time Google will do the right things and we may get a new and better alternative for iPads, which I know you all want. Now, enough chit chat, let's move on to the installation. Okay, so the first thing which you have to do is download Android Studio on your Windows machine from this website. The link is in the description. So once you're on this page, click on download Android Studio, scroll to the very bottom of this terms and conditions, check this checkbox and click on download Android Studio. So once you install that, you can easily launch it from your start menu, just like so. And once you started that, you will be presented with this dialog box, this window right here. And what you can do here is just click on more actions, AVD manager. Now in here, I have my virtual machine with Android 12L right here. I'm going to create a new one to show you how to do that. So just click on create virtual device, go to tablet, select this option just or you can go on with any option but just make sure uh, that your PC is like really high end so it can support these kind of resolutions like really high resolutions but I would really, really recommend you to use this option. This would be really easy for you to install it. So let's uh, select that and click on next. Okay, on this page right here, just click on x86 images, select SV2 from here and click next. And once you're here, just select landscape. That would be a better orientation and go to advanced settings scroll and select one gigs of ram just like so and at least two gigs of internal storage just like so and i think that's it just click on finish here okay wait recommended is one gig so the, okay i, I created you go all right so what's going on dude okay okay uh, okay i did the wrong thing so two gigs 
of internal storage and one gigs of RAM. So that's it. Just click on finish. And there's your new machine. Just click on this run button right here. Okay. The machine may take some time to boot up for the first time. It, it also depends on your Windows PC specs, like how powerful your PC is. So yeah, there you go. Google logo and it should be loading any moment now. All right. Now, there you have Android 12 L running on your Windows PC. I'm also working on a hands-on video about Android 12 L where I will tell you about all the features and changes. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that video. And as always, that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.